Um, we're down here in Naples uh, today for an unattended death. This actually goes back, I think, about five or six weeks ago. She's out of state, works a full-time job. Uh, nobody would tell her anything. And she's been very leery of us going into the house without knowing for certain if there was homeowner's insurance or... Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Collier County in uh, Naples, Florida. This house has a uh, at least a year and a half story behind it and uh, actually started with a bio that there was actually a uh, um, executor of the will uh, in person had been appointed by the, the legal process to uh, be able to make decisions uh, and so we were able to actually come back a year and a half later and reopen the claim. But unfortunately, uh, this entire area was just nailed by Ian um, a couple of months ago. And this house, and almost every house in this neighborhood, I saw anywhere from four inches of water to you know, maybe three feet of water, depending on uh, elevation of their home, uh, including this house, which most of it's around 14, 16 inches uh, flood uh, throughout the home. We take a look at it, we, we see all the mold and you know we explain to her you know what's all involved you know and she's sounding totally disinterested, <laughs> overwhelmed and you know basically just then says well uh, probably within 24 hours Ed gets a call from her brother that says proposal looks good and we're like okay well we gave him two which one does he mean the proposals look good you know so uh, Ed gave us uh, the brother a call and he said yeah we're gonna go with the purchase so this is now turned into a real estate So here we go, we got the uh, refrigerator. I don't know when the power got cut off on this thing. It was on when we were here for the bio. Again, this house sat empty for a long, long time. And then the, then the uh, flood came for the hurricane, but I want to say for the looks of this, the power was off long before the flood water ever came and shut the electric off. But uh, so you can see some of the evidence on the outside here, kind of nasty, nasty looking stuff. There we go. Uh oh, what do we got here? Is that lunch meat maybe? <laughs> At one time? Oh. Oh yeah, that was uh what, some type of pork maybe or Whew. well it's uh, it's it's pretty pretty gross but I'll tell you the odor uh, I think due to the time is not as bad I've, there's no way I could be here without a full face respirator on or at least a half mask uh, on some um, but you know you'll get it that just creates the perfect environment and you still have to get example of what mold can do in your home when the air is not working and the temperature gets just right. Um, as you can see it has literally taken over this chair.
guess the guy was in the service and he collected these things. Let's see what we got. Same thing. I'm sure he worked very hard for it. Try to clean it, but it'd be better just to throw it away because it's pretty bad. It's been sitting, sitting through the flood. The flood happened over three months ago. So this car, of course, has been sitting here since the gentleman passed away. In fact, we we had the key to the house, so there was really no one coming in and out of this house for like you know almost 18 months. So, um, but this car was sitting here, and then of course the flood happened. So uh, it was never. Uh, I think I think we can barely see the uh, water line, but it was right around right around here. Um, this entire garage was flooded. Now it was it was rather brief, so it, it wasn't like it sat in water for days or anything. But kind of the, the storm surge came in, and usually within about 30 minutes, most areas it sucked it back out. So, um, but so we have uh, we have you know category three black water. Uh, so that's always a, a, a really bad thing for vehicles. So we're not sure the status of this. It, you know, it, most of these are become salvage vehicles, um, uh, maybe maybe for parts and scrap. Um, the good news is we're trying to dry it out. We're gonna see um, what we can do. And when we have a hurricane like this and cars get flooded, they open the windows and open the doors so that they can breathe. Well, this one was sealed up tight. So the mold grew like nothing. It's like a science experiment in there. I mean, none of that salt water should have made its its way into any of the fluids because it was never started and, and it wasn't flooded that in that sense, you know. So I think I think we're gonna uh, I think we're gonna give her a try. So I noticed that all the electronics seem to be working as far as the dome lights, the dash, and all that stuff. All right, and fire up. Well, I don't know if I got enough juice to fire it, I'll try it. Set. Uh, says access key disabled. Oh, you might need a battery. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I'll tell you, I'm encouraged by the dash not like lighting up like a Christmas tree or acting, acting weird. So these three boxes were up here behind the toaster. And, you know, the sister had already been in here. She pretty much cleaned up this place. I'm sure somebody's going to want this, you know, even if, you know, the sister doesn't. Um, so it is definitely something that I will take pictures of and as documented here in this video. Um, and, you know, give her the option and the decision to see what she would like to do or reach out to some family members. So the other two things that I have found in here is, and this is something that we have been searching for, it's one of the things they sent us in here initially for, was to find jewelry. And we had looked all over, and I did find some jewelry, but I didn't know if I found the jewelry. Well, obviously this is going to be the jewelry. This looks like this may have belonged to the deceased himself. Um, but the sisters and the wives were telling me that there is some very nice jewelry that used to belong to their grandmother, their mother. So I believe I have found that. A lot of this looks very dated um, to a particular era. So I think this will be fun for them to be able to keep. Might not be anything of great value, but I think a lot of sentimental value um, to it. So these are, these are some of the lovely treasures that you know, we get to discover. Um, but it, it takes some digging. You know, three, two other people had to miss this in order for me to find it today. So it's worth a little bit of effort sometimes to be able to give the family something back like this. So here's a few other things that we found. Like this particular door, I couldn't open it. So Ed came in and manhandled it, got it open. And you know, some of the things that we started to uh, find in there. And then the family had mentioned some, some knives, but just some really, really cool looking knives. It looks like it was quite a collection he may have had. So 
but I mean you can tell that this is antique and you know this might go with the other set in the box just kept separate Ooh, that's a big one. I'll carve some turkey with that from Japan. I'm trying to think, is it a filet or for fish? Um, I should have been a sixth generation baker and I have no idea what that is. Oh, huh. All the time we find things, you know, class rings, you know, um, sometimes people might not have one bit of anything that's worth anything, but there's the one class ring, you know, that the, the brother or the sister says, I would like it if you could find it. 99.9% .9 of the time, I swear to God, we find everything that the family sends us in to look for. Yeah, so here we got uh, a whole box of, uh, and I don't know uh, how old, but it's definitely an older uh, Lionel. Unfortunately, it was all it was all in the uh, flood, so we do have we do have rust and. Uh, damage and, and everything so I, I really don't think uh, you know anything can be salvaged out of it um, which is a real shame because I know there's people that just love to collect these um, you can see what's happening that's salt water that's what happens in salt water right there oil what is that oil can or something uh, some type of train <laughs> cleaner and yeah it's pretty cool oh here you go Looks like we got some uh, barrels or logs or something. Whoop. Look at this, an airplane, man. Oh, good, I guess it went to that hangar. I don't know if I've ever seen an airplane on a rail car before, but. Yeah, set that puppy up. Hours of fun and entertainment right here. These are made in England? England. Not made in China. And uh, really day day two here um, on the scene and uh, we had uh, four technicians here going through the house right now uh, we're going to try to just empty out all the all the all the moldy things and things that are still left in the um, cabinets uh, I mean the gentleman that lived here previously he never even got the opportunity to unpack so there's still some boxes that uh, we haven't even opened we don't even know what's in them yet so uh, we'll have them just unwrap them and take a quick look at them but you know the, the family has pretty much said that they've gone through it and gotten what they want so we know that a majority of it is just going right into the uh, the dumpster for today so um, there's not a whole lot left in the house so we plan on wrapping that up today and you know next visit will be we'll continue with the the flood cuts and the mold remediation thanks for watching guys don't forget to like share subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode for more information visit any of our locations